Hey there! This is the first video of a series of videos I want to produce. Uh, the idea behind the videos is to be a kind of, I would say, I would say uh, the idea is to be a kind of, uh, let's say, a commentary about a comment about something like a paper, a book. It's supposed to be fast, it's supposed not to be like complex, it's supposed to be a way for me to keep the channel. Uh, the videos coming on, keep uh, the work on without necessarily requiring too much for my time. Because as as I say, as, as you may may have read notes, I'm also launching online videos and online courses. And to launch online courses, it's a little bit hard. You have to investigate, you have to create the content, you have to make sure the content has the minimum quality. Because if somebody's paying for something, you have to make sure they are paying for a good work. So. Uh, it, this means that uh, this kind of uh, video is called commentary. Uh, I, I think maybe I'm call it this commentary and it will be like numbered. So it means that uh, they will be supposed to be fast, they're supposed to be quick, but bring to some kind of thoughts around biomathematics. So you can let me know by comment, you can let me know by subscribe to the channel, you can let me know by liking the, the, the video, if this kind of video is helping you or not. I would like to start this with uh, this kind of uh, series of comments about uh, related to biomathematics, more generic comments, broad comments, about a very nice talk. I just watched this talk about uh, two uh, big thinkers. Let me take his name here. I know who he is, but I make sure that I state the name properly. Uh, the first one is Daniel uh, Kahneman. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. I think it's Kahneman, uh, but I just call Daniel. Easy to call. Uh, uh, Yuval Harari, which as be, I believe is well known by everyone, he wrote a very nice book such as Sapiens and he has a participation on the internet quite, you can find several videos of him on YouTube, he's a kind of active person the, on the internet, has, I, I saw this talk on, on, on his own channel, YouTube channel, so he's quite present uh, on the it's quite pressed on the um, on the media. I would like to make a very short contextualization, just because I I want to make sure that he, whoever see this video as well know what I'm talking about. First of all, uh, Daniel Kahneman, he is a psychologist. He wrote several. He wrote, he wrote as a matter of fact one of the a quite famous book called Thinking Fast and Slow. And I, I know this book is famous because ever I read the book, to be completely honest, I knew the book, I, I heard the audio book, I, I heard the audio book several times because I like to hear as I'm walking, when I'm walking I just put the, the microphone, the, the headphone and start to listen to all the books that I like. One of them is this book about, the book called Thinking Fast and Slow. I know this book is famous because several people that I talk later about that, they thought, no, I already, I already read the book. I also saw the book being cited in several nice talks that I saw people cite this book. So I believe it's a quite influential book. Uh, Daniel Kahneman has a, he won a, a Nobel Prize. He's a psychologist, but he won a Nobel Prize. Uh, in economy. Uh, one of the, his uh, biggest contribution, that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this comment here, is about how you, how you take decisions. In his book, Thinking Fast and Slow, he talks about that, essentially about the bias that uh, you have. He's launched a new book about, apparently, as you can see from the talk, I, I think the book is called Noise, but uh, I'm quite sure it will be a very quite nice book as well. On the other hand, uh, Yuval Harari, uh, he's a historian, as he said, as he says on the, uh, himself says on the, on the video, he likes to, to think about, the, not just about the past as a historian, he likes has to think about the present and the future. Uh, I think he, one of his most famous books is Sapiens, uh, but he, he also wrote several other books on the, as well. So, I believe you type his name on Google, you'll be able to find a considerable amount of nice talks about him. I love the talk. One of the reasons why I'm, I'm bringing specifically to this channel, I thought to bring this talk to my personal channel, but I thought to myself because uh, as I was listening to the talk, it came to me a question that I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave everything for you on the description of the video. 
I really wanted to bring it, to bring to you a specific channel some part of the of the parts of the of the video that I enjoyed. I think that's connect to biomathematics. But you should keep in mind that you have the copyright stuff. I mean, I I I not I don't want to have I don't I don't want to have any copyright problem on this channel. I, it never happened before. I don't think that I, I do not hope that it will happen now. So in order to avoid copyright problems, I'm going to leave to you in the description of the video uh, a kind of title what I want you to see and to leave you precisely the point of the video what I want you to see uh, so instead of just like a trim a uh, kind of cut part of the video and post on my own channel I decide to keep it, not to do that to keep you like redirecting the channel of the, of the Yuval uh, Harari uh, his own channel the talks jam is there so uh, the first thing I would like to comment is because on this channel uh, I posted a short uh, piece of my talk that I gave it to launch my course. The course that you can see the, on the background, you can see a kind of image. This image is from my course, yeah, Innovation Biomathematics. When I launched the course on the YouTube channel of the University of Lacla, I will also leave for you in the description of the video. Everything will be in the description of the video. Uh, Professor Maggio, which was the president of my PhD in defense, is a, is a, person, that, is a person that I respect a lot, he, uh, he, uh, did a very nice question. He asked, I'm going to leave to you in the description of the video, he asked me about the, the, the decision process. Uh, when you design a, a, a biomathematical model, uh, it doesn't matter which kind of model, it can be artificial intelligence, it can be Applied mathematics doesn't matter the kind of model that we are talking about. As long as the model should take a decision for you, uh, Professor Matthew asked it, what about uh, when the model makes a mistake? Who is going to be responsible? So I even thought about making a live about that. Can let me know your thoughts about my, if you make a live just about that. But the point is that uh, the, uh, here you have a kind of question that has to do with the decision process. When you take a decision, uh, as a human who use an algorithm, uh, somehow, if you take a decision as a human, you'll be punished uh, somehow, like you, you are responsible for the consequences of your decision. Yeah. And that's how it works, I think that that's how it should be. We, we should re be responsible for our decisions. On the other hand, uh, that can be a problem as well for biomathematician because once you design a model, Again, here when I talk about model, I'm, I'm talking about mathematical models, not biological model. And as well, I'm thinking about uh, any model. It can be artificial intelligence, can be biomathematics, precisely as this channel is focused on, on applied math, on biomathematics as a mathematical model. But here you can think about as well, about artificial intelligence, which is the, the, the commonest one is artificial intelligence, which is gain a considerable amount of attention lately, in every area of science, in medicine is not different. So when you, when you, uh, when you create a model, uh, one, of, one of the questions that has to be for the question of Professor Maggio is, uh, why this model is special? I mean, why this model can be better than human? One of the points of the talk of, uh, of uh, Harari and uh, Daniel, uh, that the, 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 they, they talk about uh, both of them say nice, nice thing that is quite important for this channel. One of the things that he, Daniel defend a lot in his book, on his work, on his talks that you can find on YouTube, is the fact that the human has a tendency to fall uh, short on some kind of buyers. On his talk, he's given a lot of attention, not just to the buyers. He it seems that he extended his, his thoughts. Now he's, he's also considering how humans take bad decisions because of noise. That's one of the title of this book, Noise. Because as, as he says, uh, we as a human have a limitation to take decisions. That's, that's not completely new, new to me. I already knew this kind of stuff from my readings. That one of the motivation to use model, I, I also said that on my talk, that I'm going to leave the description to you, that when you make a decision uh, using model, you do not have the human uh, emotion on the, on the way. Uh, we humans have a tendency to, to let's say, to um, overlook how emotions or how bias can uh, influence our decision. So let me explain a little bit about what I mean by bias and what I mean by emotions. Uh, bias, there are several kinds of human bias. Uh, human bias has tendencies that you have towards people, such as 
uh, you may be a kind of, uh, let's say, Brazilian, and you may think that uh, the Chinese should have the same kind of uh, uh, strength that you have. For example, we, uh, I remember when I was in Milan, uh, I was in Milan, and no, I'm sorry, I know I was in Italy with my PhD. I remember that there was a period of time that it was quite hot in Italy. I remember that it was kind of a four degree. For us here in Brazil, four degree is just a joke. I mean, if you go to Salvador, if you go to Rio de Janeiro, four degree is like in our day lives. But for them, that they have, they may have even like a, uh, zero degree for a considerable amount of time. That was quite bad. The elderly, the old people, the elderly, they were dying, like he, truly, truly dying, because they were not designed to be resistant to to heat. Uh, from a Brazilian point of view, we may think like, yeah, they are very weak, but not they are not weak. They just have a different kind of uh, kind of uh, let's say reality, a uh, kind of uh, adaptation to the environment. So our tendencies, the way you think, there are several kinds of tendencies. I'm going, to, if I may able to find, I'm going to leave as well a video. Uh, there is some kind of uh, 12 uh, human bias or tenants, but they are just a number, they have much more than that. So human bias or tenants, they are tenants that you have to think in a certain way instead of think the right way. So that can be a big problem. For example, uh, uh, yesterday I was, I was talking to a friend of mine. Uh, she was like, he, a doctor gave her a medication for pain. We were talking like, he, I, don't, I, I myself, I don't, I don't like taking medication. So. Uh, she was a defend because she was a doctor, so on. I told her a story. When I had some kind of, uh, I had to go to a psychologist, I had some kind of, I was a little bit uh, sad and so on. I went to a psychologist, and psychologist asked me to come like for a period of time. It was quite nice. Then a, psych a psychiatrist asked me to take a medication, so I not to take the medication. So my point is, if you go to one, to one medical doctor specifically, they are going to give you a kind of a treatment based on their own way of thinking. Because as you say, I don't know if you have this, I guess you have this kind of, a, this kind of saying in English, but in Portuguese you say, if you have a hammer, everything is an nail. So the way we, we were trained, the way we, we, uh, we learn as a, as a professional to act, that has a very strong tenets on how we take decisions. So medical doctor is not different. There's a very kind of, of a, a very nice uh, podcast. I don't know, the episode is quite old, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to find. Uh, this podcast called the Health Care Report. It's an Australian podcast, podcast that I follow. I'm going to leave at least the podcast in the description of the video so you can go there and follow yourself. But there is a special podcast that is talked about just about uh, medical doctors' mistakes uh, is quite big. I believe I remember the quite well. It was like he, almost a half of the case of medical doctor decision that are mistakes, and that's not uncommon to make doctor doctor make mistake. You may ask yourself, what mistake come from? I guess that's not. I'm, I'm here. I'm, I don't have any paper to show you, but I guess it comes from bias. Uh, it comes from uh, for noise, as Daniel says. Uh, by noise, he means like he, a kind of he, uh, thing that makes you take bad decisions. Uh, so I, I believe that he, uh, the kind of he, uh, work that Daniel has been doing can be quite important for us to answer the question of Professor Marge that I'm going to leave in the description. Because when you take, when you create a model by the, based on biomathematics, someone should be responsible for the model. But the model can, has a higher probability, as Daniel defends himself, he says that the model, even if the model has a simple rule to work, it's not biased, it's not noise. So he defends that the uh, algorithm can be much better to take decisions than you, than human. So he was talking in a general context, but in a, in a medical doctor context, you should, you should think about biomathematics. So, uh, and all those models that you are creating as a biomathematician, as a bioinformatician, or as a biostatistician, uh, doesn't matter. All those models should be used. In my post, my second postdoc, I'm going to leave him uh, to the paper. We propose a system to take decision based on precision medicine. So what about if the model makes a mistake? But the point of of Kalman, uh, of Kalman, of Daniel. Of Daniel is that even if the model can be wrong, the human has a high probability to be wrong. But as he say himself, you have the tendency not to believe that. You have the tendency to defend ourselves. Like even if you are making mistakes, 
uh, we have the tendency to say that machine will make more mistake, like like defend our, our own humanness. So I believe that biomathematics is tough, like mathematics, but you should always think about the philosophical side because it doesn't matter how much model you do, if nobody is going to use your model useless. So you should always think about uh, uh, people defend biomathematics and people doing biomathematics. I'm going to leave a description of the video. I'm going to try to evolve that technology for you. But there's a very nice talk between Brian Greene and Richard Dawkin. That two, as well, two great thinkers as well. And Brian Greene uh, is asked by, is talking to, is talking to uh, Richard Dawkin, which is, uh, which wrote a very nice book called The Selfish Gene. He, I believe he's a ecologist, I don't remember well his, uh, his background. But the point is that he as well talks about this kind of, uh, of point. So I'm going to leave the description of the video for you. Uh, in order to close, the last point I'd like to, I'd like to bring to you is another point that, he, that he, uh, Yuva, uh, Harari brings on his talk. I'm going to actually leave precisely where you should go. So you should not need to see all the talk if you don't or if you do not want to. But he says something like about him. Um, uh, virtual, he, he, he does not use the word virtual human, but what he says is called virtual human. He, he talks about the fact that he, in the future, may have uh, data about all the human body, and you may create a kind of virtual version of human. That's called virtual human. We, are, you, we already have uh, nowadays a scientific word called virtual pancreas, virtual liver. They are always, well, I remember quite well when I was in Como Lake. There were, uh, there were like, uh, there was a virtual liver done using Copase. There is a video about Copase here on this channel. I'm going to leave a description video for you as well, so you can know the soft Copase. But the point is that uh, we, we already have. There is a very nice work from, from Jonathan K. Uh, he gave very nice talks, in, even in Brazil, here in Fiocruz. He was in Fiocruz, a very nice talk. But he did, he did a kind of wholesale model, so that show how evolved we, we are nowadays. So I think just a matter of time until biomathematics will become a kind of, a, if it's not already, because when you think about the, uh, all, the, all the medical stuff that you used to take decisions, such as uh, uh, magnetic resonance machine and so on, and all this kind of technique, they are just to, to, to a certain extent, they are already a mathematical model. Uh, it's a little bit less mathematical model because uh, you have a kind of, uh, let's say, uh, gray area between computer science, I mean, you may say a uh, kind of uh, the independence, but there is a gray area between computer science, physics, uh, and mathematics, so in medicine as well. So you have the kind of gray area. Sometimes you have too much computer science if medicine, sometimes you have too much Mathematics is medicine, but there is a gray area in the middle. That's the one they meet, like physics, computer science. So I believe that the, the gray area between physics and medicine, uh, uh, you may say uh, computer science and medicine is already quite evolved. Uh, but the, I think the, this channel has to do with the gray area between uh, computer science, physics, medicine and mathematics. That's one of the, the core idea of this channel. But it doesn't, doesn't mean that I'm going to bring, for example, I'm going to the description of the video as well, a very nice talk from, uh, from I believe, he was a PhD student from Milan. Uh, he, was, he, he participated as well from an event that I, I organized called Leandro, Leandro Rudo. Uh, I believe now he's a postdoc at uh, Cambridge. I, I, that is the last time I heard from him. He's a quite brilliant young man. I'm going to the description of the video as well for you. So that's all. Uh, this video is the first one of a series of videos I'm planning to produce you, uh, that has as a commentary idea. The idea is to comment something, to give you like a, uh, to give a starting point for talking about the biomathematics without necessarily talking about models to be generic, to, to reach a, a broad audience. Uh, in order to close, I'd like to keep to, to remind you, I'm going to give the description of the video as well, that now we have a patron. What's a patron? A patron is a way that several YouTubers, uh, not just YouTubers, several artists and so on, freelancers, are using to make free work. That is quite simple. You, uh, you donate wherever you want, whatever you have, no matter how much, any help is welcome. And that, as a sum, is going to help the uh, the the developer to make the work free. As one example, I, I, I like to use free libraries, 
Uh, and, and there is a very nice guy that I'm going to leave on the description of, video, on the description of the video, his Patreon, because I, I use a lot of his work. He, he develops uh, libraries for uh, web development and he also has a Patreon. So I'm going to leave my Patreon from this channel specifically and his Patreon as well as a way to thank him for, for making us free libraries for, for us to, de to, to develop web applications. So see you in the next video and have a nice week. Did you like the content of this channel? So please subscribe to the channel. It's quite simple. You just have to hit subscribe and you, have, you can decide which level of the notification you want. You may choose all the notifications, which means that everything that I do, you receive a notification on your, on your bell here, on the upper corner, or you can choose no notification. I would strongly recommend you to subscribe, even if you don't want to receive all the notifications. Just hit here, no notification or hit the one that you like the most. It's pretty important that you subscribe to the channel so I, I can achieve a high number, of, a high number of subscribers and people can as well understand that this channel has a nice content to offer and YouTube will understand as well that it can make a nice divulgation of the channel. So please subscribe to the channel.